Hey, your necktie. That's right. Your buttons, please. Good. You can enter. Where's your ID? Oh, it's on your back. Can I see? Okay, good. You can enter as well. Hmm, what do we have here? Are you aware that the dress code for the school is a uh, uniform? Oh, you may be wearing the uniform, but you're definitely not wearing it properly. You haven't fastened your buttons on your shirt. And there is a stain on your skirt too. I don't know where did it come from. It's your skirt, not mine. It's just hot this morning. So you need some breeze inside your shirt. Hmm. The weather is warm this morning, so I suppose I can understand why you decided to leave some buttons on your shirt undone. But I still need to penalize you for that. Joe, you will stay after school for 10 minutes and clean tables in the cafeteria. You better get rid of that stain on your skirt too. Or I'll make it a full 20 minutes. It's not your fault you got a stain in your clothes without you knowing. Hmm. You're going to make me make the penalty 30 minutes, aren't you? The stain, the buttons, arguing with me, is all adding up. You're lucky that I'll give you this warning. You have five minutes to get rid of that stain. How can you get rid of the paint in your skirt in five minutes? Figure it out yourself. If it's not gone by the time I'm done filling out the paperwork, your penalty will be increased to 30 minutes, like I said. It's impossible. You don't have paint remover or anything with you to remove the stain. Hmm. But it's not my problem, Joe. Figure it out yourself. <laughs> and if it's not gone by the time I'm done filling out this paperwork or this report, your punishment will be double to an hour. You didn't do anything wrong? Are you sure about that? You don't think it's wrong to argue with the student council president? You don't think it's wrong to walk around with a stain on your uniform? There's a reason they give us cleaning supplies here to get rid of the stains and any dirt that accumulates over the day. I know you know I'll always win. You're lucky I decided to show you mercy today. But I won't do it again in the future. 
You'd better remember your place here, okay? And don't forget your cleaning duty. And this day needs to be gone by the time you leave today. <laughs> Such a rebellious student you are. What? Mr. Perfect Guy? Excuse me? Dang. You're so feisty. Hello, student. Hmm? Why am I here? I am here to supervise you. Of course. Did you think you could just ditch your punishment without anyone finding out? I don't have anything to do right now, so I need to supervise you to see that you really do your work here as a punishment. And I'm saying that if you leave here now, I will extend your penalty to a week. Good girl. But why the sudden change? Hmm? Because what? You don't want to clean the tables for a week. Is that so? Then be a good little student. <laughs> Am I too close? Sorry. Is this better? You know, if you're a good student, I might let you off the hook after 30 minutes. As long as you behave yourself. Really? Hmm. Maybe. Why maybe? Hmm. <laughs> if you beg me nicely, I might go easy on you. And let you off the hook. <laughs> yeah. You should start cleaning the table. This is what I like to see. An obedient student. I will just leave you for... A minute or something. I have to check something. I'll be right back. Where do you think you're going? Don't you remember that I told you to stay for 30 minutes? You just check if there are still students outside. And did you see any? You're lying to me, aren't you? I'm not buying any of your bullshit. <laughs> I don't accept apologies with smiles. Apologies to me properly. And this time, no excuses. Why should you obey me in the first place? And why you should say sorry to me? Since I'm just a student like you. That's because the student council president has authority in the school. And I give you a direct command. I don't appreciate my authority being questioned. Unless you want to spend time a lot longer cleaning these tables than you initially thought. 
If I extend my punishment, then I'll have to be stuck with you. Since I'm supervising you. And what benefit should or would I get on babysitting you while you clean? Hmm. You're right. I will have to stay here if you don't comply. But you know, I'm willing to do that if you aren't willing to show me some respect. I don't tolerate different behavior. You're lucky that I give you any extra warnings at all. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Me? A robot? Why do you say that? Are you scared of me? Of how cold and calculating I can be? Or how ruthless I can be when I want something? What do I want from you? Your obedience, of course. You're a different student, and I won't tolerate that. So the best way to make sure that you're being a vision from now on is to be strict on you. Do I have other punishment rather than cleaning? Hmm. Did you seriously believe that this is my only option? I'm a lot more strict when I feel like a harsher punishment is necessary. You would have hated the original punishment I had planned for you. But you know, I'll let you go home if you're back. But you have to beg nicely. So, will you do it? 